Hello guys, this is Mike Chowda with Team Micro here. Today we are going to demonstrate a very unique test fixtures and it is actually very unique because this is going to send abroad. This is for our USA client. Uh, one client approached Micro for their FCT requirement that is functional test system requirement. We designed and developed FCT for them and today we are going to send by courier to uh, them or uh, their test fixtures. Uh, if you want to develop this type of test fixtures, you can contact Microhub. You can please watch full videos. So you will understand how we are working with the clients. Also, if you are if you want to make this type of fixtures by yourself, please watch full videos. So we will we'll give you the guidelines how you can develop this type of fixture by your end. How to select the pogo pins, how to select the materials, how assembly we are doing. So you will get each and every things in details in this video because lots of our uh, uh, followers and uh, who is watching videos they are asking us how to how we can make this type of fixtures or how uh, they can deal with us for their requirements so we are going to demonstrate all things in this video and uh, uh, we are going to demonstrate these fixtures particularly in focus fully uh, for the our which is developed for our client yes uh, let's start a proper uh, uh, video for our test fixtures this is a test fixture design and developed uh, for a usa client that is one company uh, from their requirements we we had a uh, lo lots of mail conversation for the requirements uh, we understand the requirements how what is their requirements and we design and develop test fixtures and validate their fixtures that uh, as per their needs so all the components are uh, ul standard components and all the material are certified materials as their requirements as per their requirements and we had a conversation for uh, lots of their unique requirements or what difficulties they are having and what type of solutions they are need and we suggested lots of solutions and uh, after conversation we finalized these test fixes to develop uh, for them so these are pcb uh, these are 115 volt uh, converter so we are testing as a us a us standard uh, power consumptions so 115 volt is ac voltage is given to the test fixtures from one side and this is a variable 115 volt is also given to that pcb as per their requirements because they are they want up and down into voltage and they want to monitor as well as note down the uh, test fixtures output so they can finalize whether that pcb is as per their standard or not yeah so uh, let's start uh, detailing on that. So this is a PCB. This is a UL standard multimeters. So you can see a 115 volt here. Uh, that is uh, AC voltage coming from the uh, input power. This is an ampere consumption of this board. This is the voltage at particular pin that is for J4 connector, pin number one and uh, pin number two. In between pin number one and two, this is 4.96 voltage is coming. This is a voltage between J4 connector 39 to 40 pins. Uh, the 13.78 uh, volt is coming. This is a display part. From there, uh, this uh, particular PCB is going to be controlled, and lots of other test uh, function is going to be executed from this uh, uh, display. This is an ampere uh, measurement. They need a very precise amperes that is in to a micro ampere. So we suggested that having an external multimeter uh, with the standard fluke or any other uh, companies, you can attach an external multimeter and use the uh, required uh, micro ampere, measure the required micro ampere. These are some low relay and high relay configurations. This is a power input indication. From here, uh, you can see a variable uh, serial port db9 and uh, from there you can connect the laptop for serial communication part and these are the uh, db25 connectors for the other power pins for the future utilities uh, this is a port from there they can uh, vary the stages of the uh, functions and they can check in all the functions that pcb is working as per their requirement or not so yeah uh, from this fixture, they can also program uh, their uh, PCBA, assembled PCBA, and also they can take the functional testing from these fixtures. So, yeah, these are acrylic base with the bakelite material uh, and with the pogo pin bed. 
So uh, for the soldered pogo pin, we use a crown type of pogo pins. And for non-soldered parts, we utilize a flat pins for the proper connectivity. Uh, this is a 20 cross 20 uh, frame of aluminum structure. This is a <coughs> sliding handle for up down movements. Uh, these all parts are customized like these are the nylon nibs which we customize. This all as always the uh, test fixer is a customized part. So all the FCTs or ICT or BBT test fixers requirement we designed and developed a customized test fixer for them. So we can fulfill a proper requirement and uh, we can fulfill their standards also. Yeah. So this is a construction part. Uh, let's we will also in this video will uh, give you the brief how we are communicating with the test fixer. So uh, we have connected serial communication with the laptop and we will uh, use a terminal emulator to check the data whether data communication is working or not or what type of operations are coming. Yeah. So this is stage 8 right now. So uh, let me go into a run mode. So here from here we are going to have the run mode. You can see a run mode indication here. So this system is on run mode right now and we will type one command from here. So this command is going to be executed here like something command this is a command not found error. If we type LED test. You can see a setup mode is coming there. So you can see a LED test. So in LED test, all the seven segment LEDs are on. So one can see the uh, visualization, uh, do a visualization and uh, decide that system is OK or not OK. Because we can attach also a visual system or camera system here, but client requirement is uh, to have the uh, visual uh, effect and visual visualization from the visualization, they are going to select this part is OK or not OK. So this is the LED test command from where uh, all the LEDs are OK or not OK and all things are coming proper or not proper, they can check. And second is, uh, suppose I will do a relay test program. So let me go into the run mode. And so you can see a switching of relay from this space uh, whenever whenever I'm entering here. So yeah, let me have this here. So this is LED test. You can see a lower LED, low relay test. That is a raw relay is mentioned here also in the fixer. So whenever low relay is coming, this light is indicating. Whenever we switch on to high relay, high relay light is indicating. So that means this PCB is accepting command as per the requirement and uh, switching the relay according to their needs. Also with this, lots of lots of test steps are there. Approximate uh, 50 to 55 test steps are there. They can test dual boards. They have two boards for this F, uh, FCT system. So uh, both board are going to be uh, incorporated in single jig. So there are approximate 50 to 55, 54 test sequence. And we are uh, giving results on all the test, uh, uh, test uh, configurations. Yeah. So uh, if you have any kind of this requirement, please contact my group. We'll get back to you for this type of solution. As we uh, always uh, tell in all videos that we have in-house electrical, electronics, mechanical and mechatronics team who is sitting on a single table and designing a test fixers for you. So we are a fixer house and complete fixer house to design and develop lots of FCT as well as flashing, programming, ICT and BBT test fixers in India. <clears throat> we are also sending materials and equipments and fixers out of India. These are US standard fixers. So we are uh, uh, for the US standard based on US standard. This fixer is we are sending fixers to USA, Canada and Australia also. So we can approach uh, just give us a call for your requirement. We'll get back to you for the uh, great solution for your FCT. 
and you can contact on microhub that is our website is microhubtech.com you can also do a whatsapp on 9904353830 for any kind of requirement you can just drop a whatsapp message or just give us a call once our application engineer will get back to you for your solutions thank you guys for watching this video keep in touch please like and subscribe our channel if you are interested in this type of interesting videos thank you guys for watching us